It's one of them days. Man, you can't lock the door for me. Yeah. Yes, uh, no, I ain't talking about them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right, right, no. Yeah, uh, we good, we good. We good. All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. Hey, we the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of this present temporal evil world. All right, first and foremost, we want to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to all you Akim pushing his word in truth and sincerity. All right, that's what it's all about, man. The will of the Father, the prophecies. Matter of fact, let's get uh, Ezekiel uh, 3 and 10. And then somebody hold on deck that second entrance 9. This is Ezekiel 3 and 10. Yeah. Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receive in thy heart and hear with thy ears. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. 3 and 11. And go get thee to them of the captivity unto the children of thy people. Go get thee unto the children, all right, of, of, of the of thy captivity, all right? Because we, the Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, those who stand from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right, we're in captivity right now, okay? We're the special chosen children, but we had to experience, all right, this captivity. You see, we were, for, for one, because of our disobedience and forsaking the most high God and forsaking the righteous way that he gave to us. So this is a part of the consequences that we're in captivity. That's right. But again, this is all the will of the father. So we had to experience, all right? We had to experience this, okay? And so now the, 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 the men of the Lord, matter of fact, real quick, Amos three and seven, because it says, go get thee to the cap uh, uh, thy children of the captivity. Matter of fact, read it again, yes, brother. Yes, sir, Ezekiel 3 and 11. And go get thee to the field of the captivity unto the children of thy people. And speak unto them. And speak unto them. And tell them not to have the going you, you see, and tell them this is what the most high God, the creator, says. All right, and tell them the will of the Father. Tell them the righteousness of the Father, all right? And it can't know anybody just tell you. It's gotta be the men that the most I sent, all right? Not the, the men and women <laughs> that set up themselves and claim to be these preachers, these pastors, these reverends, all right? These priests, these, uh, 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 anybody that claimed to be a teacher of the Bible, all right? He didn't send just over anybody. All right, Jeremiah 3 and 15, he said, uh, the Most High God said, I will give you pastors according to my heart. That will be with knowledge and understanding. The knowledge and understanding of the will of the Father, of his righteousness. All right, he is going to raise up and sin and speak through his men the 100% truth. All right, so uh, you got that, Amos? Yeah, it's uh, Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealed reveal his secret unto his servants, the prophets. See, he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. All right? The men that he has called and chosen before the beginning of time. All right? And this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is the secret. So you can't just read it, read the Bible, all right, and think you understand it. Right? It's in mystery form, okay? And he only reveals his secret, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding unto his servants, the prophets, man. All right, and then he tells his prophets to do what again? Ezekiel 3 and 11? Ezekiel 3 and 11, and go get thee to them of the captivity uh -huh. unto the children of thy people. Yep. And speak unto them. Yep. And tell them. Thus saith the Lord God. Thus saith the Lord God. Whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. You got it? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
got a question? Like, I have like a a conversation. Uh, you, you can give us some uh, YouTube pages. Good morning. that uh that uh second entrance all right because we just read in that ezekiel that he said hey son of man all right go get thee to the children of the captivity to the children of my people all right the israelites you so-called negroes latinos and native americans and tell them thus saith the lord all right tell them his secret and give them the understanding break it down all right to them directly and correctly whether they will hear you or whether they forbear, whether they receive you or whether they will reject. Because the elect is going to receive, all right, and then the rest of our people are blinded, so they're going to reject you, all right? And that's where you have the examples of, hey, receiving the Lord and what's going to happen for receiving him, and then rejecting the Lord and what's going to happen for you rejecting him, all right? So, uh, so he said, go, you got something real quick? Oh, he said, go tell them, thus saith the Lord, right? So uh, let's, let's get that uh, second answer. It's 15, I'll get it. I get No, 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 nine oh, and, and one. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. The second address, chapter nine and verse one. Uh-huh. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. Matter of fact, Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. The words of prophecy, all right, which is the will of the Father. Okay? And he said, hey, before I, I, I do a thing, I tell you of it. All right, roughly paraphrasing. Okay? And he tells you of it by way of the prophets. Before yep. the prophecies happen, the prophets tell you of the prophecies that's about to come to pass. All right? Whether you hear or whether you forbear. Go ahead. I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. See? So, let's go ahead and uh, go to that uh, second address, 9 and 1. Second address, chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time we're in the highest begin to visit the world which he made. And that's what it's all about, man. Understanding that and, and, and desiring the will of the Father and that he sends his son, all right, to end the place where he's given over unto the wicked and then begin and start with the place, the eternal place that's going to be given to the righteous. You see, that's what it's all about. So read that again. Second address 9 and verse 1. Uh-huh. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. See, measure thou the time. How do we measure the time? Well, according to what the, the, the Bible said, the word of God said, that hey, these specific things was going to come to pass, all right, which are the prophecies, which are the signs to let you know, hey, well, this happened, so this is next. Well, this happened, yep. so this is next. This happened, so this is next, right? And so now in these last days all right well you have what's going on in this world today whether it be geopolitically geoeconomically all the you know rape rob murder death kill wars all right uh earthquakes and in diverse places and you know just uh, uh how weird this place is getting and how wicked it's getting every day all right it gets worse and worse and worse all right these are all part of the signs of the times all right and then you have certain bros that hey you know go even deeper into the prophecies of what's going on today all right and that can say hey you know hey they over in you know the so-called middle east all right and this is happening over there and then they got the you know this going on over in israel and then they got gaza and then and these two people are fighting against each other and then all this is going on and these are all the signs all right you got something yeah because yeah. Um, basically, you know, with that all being said, ultimately, it, it, it's the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's the one that has orchestrated all these things, all right? That's it. And you see, at the end of the day, 
these people in this world are going to bow down and say this is the true living power. Hey, not, not, not a statue, you know, a, a, a rock, all right? You know, in Mecca, all right? Not, not Buddha, not JC, all right? You know, no, Yahweh Bashim Shai did all these things. This is Isaiah 48 and 3. I have declared the former things from the beginning, and they went forth out of my mouth, and I showed them. I did them suddenly, and they came to pass. <laughs> so everything that done happened, Yesterday, since the beginning of time, all right, they are now the former things. But the Most High God has declared that before they had even came to pass. Yep. And guess what? When they came to pass, all right, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 it was ultimately the will of the Father. So that's what happened. It came to pass. And now it's history, okay? Just like today, tomorrow, all right, today going to be history and it was all the will of the father what happened today and yesterday and the day before that right and even tomorrow and next week <laughs> all is the will of the father man all right so go ahead verse 4 because i knew that thou art uh, obstinate and thy neck is as iron sinew and thy brow breasts all right meaning hard uh, hard necked all right Hard-hearted. Yep. All right. Well, basically, a damn knucklehead. Right. Right. Self-willed. Yep. Yep. Want to establish your own righteousness? Want to lean to your own understanding? A stiff neck. Nah, I ain't. But 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 uh, that dude, but talk. <laughs> I ain't budging. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you ain't gonna budge to the truth. All right. Well, deal with what's the consequences of not, you know, yielding to the truth, man. All right. But that's our people. Obstinate, man hard-hearted self-will okay and the thing that's going to happen to them all right is they're going to get broken all right it yeah. says a, a, a horse not broken all right become his head strong right mm -hmm. so the lord he's going to break up all the things that done befell us as a people all right all the atrocities that has befell us as a people our people still don't learn man they still <laughs> about partying and bullshit man they get worse yeah the scripture says that's it. <laughs> it just get worse. So only thing left for him is that fire, man. All right, where he said there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. Where he said that, hey, you're going to dwell in torments. That's the only way that our people going to learn. All right, and all the rest of the world, too. And that's when every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess when he come with that theft. Yep. You see? But you don't want to deal with that there. So here it is, the prophet I, sitting up here telling you the will of the Father and the righteousness of the Father and to repent, all right, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Straighten up and fly right so you can escape, all right, that, 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 that ram, all right, that's going to straighten out and break all. All right, go ahead. Hello, Lord. Isaiah 48 and 5. I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. <laughs> All right, declared it unto you, okay? Because the prophets have been since the world began, as it is written. Go ahead. Before it came to pass, I showed it thee. Before it came to pass, I showed it thee. All right, by way of the prophets. Go ahead. At least thou shouldest say, my idol had done them, <laughs> and my graven image, and my molten image hath commanded them. Yeah, man, you 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 can't uh, give, you know, uh, 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 something else, something that you just made up, all right? The respect and the honor and the, um, what's the word when you uh, apply uh, uh, something that somebody's done? Uh, huh? Yeah, they, they basically they're trying to apply everything that's been done to some idol that they made up. A credit, that's, that's a good one, all right? You can't accredit, all right? You know, no idol would actually how about Shai is done? Yeah. You see? So the, read that scripture again. Okay. Back in uh, Isaiah 48, verse 5. I have even from the beginning declared it to thee. Uh huh. Before it came to pass, I showed it thee. Right. Le least thou shouldest say, My idol had done them, and my graven image, and my molten image hath commanded them. See, you want to get a credit to some idol that you just made up. <laughs> You see? No. All right. 
all that's happening is because of the will of the Father, man. All right? And the will of the Father, it leads up to an eternal righteous kingdom, man. You see? It's the best plan, you know, going. All right? Man's plan, it, it, it comes to naught. All right? Man's plan, it always ends badly. Yep. You see? But the most high's plan, it leads, all right, to the eternal righteous kingdom, to world peace, all right? To, to, to the people that's being, for one, the rulers and those that's being ruled over, rejoice. Everyone. Go ahead, brother. This second address is 7 and 19. And he said unto me, there is no judge above the most high. And none that have understanding above the highest. <laughs> hey, he says he, he don't need a counselor. You can't counsel the father. He already knew what he was doing, man. And he the one that lives evermore. Never die. Man, like I always say, man be dying. I, I don't want to listen to man, all right? I want to listen to the most high God. But you got to understand that the Most High God, he speaks through his men that he called and chose. He chose them. And that's why majority of the time, the, the, the true men of the Lord, the true prophets, all right, wouldn't, you know, that wasn't our, our uh, you know, desire to be a, a teacher of the Bible. You know, in the world doing our own thing. Never thought about it. All right, again, never thought of it. Look at the, the, the prophets even of old, all right? Jonah, Jonah was like, huh? Uh, yeah, he tried to, you know, run away, all right? Amos, Amos was like, man, no, I'm just a, a, a herder. You know, I'm gonna deal with the sycamore trees. I, I don't, you know, speak, you know what I'm saying? And Jeremiah was like, man, I'm but a little child, man. I, you know, so the most high chooses who he won't. Right. All right, what you got in here, you get your I was just gonna say, like the elders just got finished saying, John 15 and 16, you have not chosen me, right. but I have chosen you. That's it. Okay, so he speaks to his prophets, man, and, and it's been that way since the beginning. The prophets that have been before me, and before me, of old prophesied both against many countries, and against great kingdoms of war, and of evils and of pestilence. So those prophets have been here from day one, okay? He has not chosen you. No, you have not chosen him. He has chosen you. Like he just talked about Jeremiah. Jeremiah 1 and 9. He put his word in his mouth, okay? But we've been here from day one. Yep. Yep. And, and, and we've been on day, okay? Yep. And, and it's and not that we want it, it's just oh, we've been chosen. Yeah, hey, we want it now. Yeah, 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 God, God, that's up. Yeah. You know? Because I wanted, I, wanted, I wanted to be a famous basketball player. See? But that didn't work out. Hey, you know? And so that's how the Lord do it, man. He calls who he who he chooses, you know? And the, the choosing, all right, was from before the beginning of time, man. Here it is in this world, you got other uh, 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 men that are ordained you. Who gave you the authority to ordain somebody to be the, you know, a speaker, you know, uh, to to speak the the, 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 the the truth of the Most High God? Yeah, they give you some papers like you. Know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give you a piece of paper. Say, now, give you some papers like you. Know, the doctrine of divinity. Right, they say, Doctor Juanita Bailey. Right. Now, nah, man, see, it's the Lord that speaks through His men via the Holy Spirit, and guess what? Man don't dictate the Holy Spirit. No, no. You see, it's the most high that takes the Holy Spirit and rest upon who he will to have the ability, all right, to have faith, have the ability to speak his word directly and correctly, have a measure of faith, have a measure of understanding, okay, and then go ahead and let that light shine. That ability is given from the most high God alone. Can I get fast when I back you up? Yeah. Galatians 1 and 1, Paul, an apostle, not of men, not of man, neither by man, but by Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. That's it. And Yahweh the Father who raised him from the dead. That's it, man. You see, and so when the true men of the Lord, all right, come out, you best believe that just like our Lord said, uh, Lord and Savior said, man, 
Are you going to be hated of all men for my name's sake? All right? For Yahawashai's sake. And Yahawashai is the truth. He is the word of the Most High God in truth, directly and correctly. All right? And so here it is. You have the true men of the Lord, all right, that the Most High is speaking through. They're the only ones that can speak directly and correctly the will and righteousness of the Father. All right? Because it's unsearchable. The word of God is unsearchable, as it says in that Romans 11 and 33, man. It's unsearchable. So uh, like I always say, you can read the Bible till you blue in the face and never understand the most high's interpretation. You see, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. All right, because, yeah, because the most high, he is in control of life. And the word of God is life. So he is in control of who gets it. Huh? All right, what you get? And then we're going to get yours, brother. Well, uh, Elder, two thirds want to tell you how to build a better bunker so you'll be safe. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Two thirds want to tell you if you vote for the right person, you he'll make sure that you are safe and secure. Right. Well, I got Psalm 64 and 8, and it reads. All right, all right. So they shall make their own tongues to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Yep. You keep telling the lies in which you told and look where it got us. Yep. So we follow Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shad. He's the light that we go follow. That's it. Yes, sir. And that's a part of the, uh, the that's part of the, the, the breakdown of, of, of this kingdom where you have their own tongue. All right. The, the wicked themselves are telling on the wicked. They're divided. And this is a part of their end. All right? What you got, brother? You know, I'm speaking on this. You still got some white moms. Um, somebody that's even like uh, prep for college kids. They be like, look at what they did in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They get to dig a deep and get to the bottom of it all. Still in the deep. I got the book of St. John, chapter 14 and verse 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, which the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. Right. So it's this this specific spirit that's slated to get the um, the hundred percent understanding of the scriptures in these last days to teach you all things. I'm gonna read it here. St. John 14, 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Yep. Whatsoever I have said unto you. And that's what the Holy Spirit does, man. All right, because it's the truth. And although our people have been lied to, all right, put, wink, bamboozle, and led astray. Run them up. Right, right. Here it is. We got lied to, you know, and, and believed in lies. But here it is. The Lord said that he was going to uh, send the Holy Spirit, all right, upon his particular men. All right, to be able to uh, 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 have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that was hid from us, that was taken from our memory. All right, because matter of fact, somebody grab that in uh, Psalms 83 real quick. This is what uh, our, our enemies have done, and again, uh, the enemy has done this. The uh, enemy has done this, right? Uh, whoever get it first. It's uh, Psalms 83 and 1. Uh -huh. A song or psalm of Asaph, keep not thou silence, O God. Right. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thine enemies not make a tumult. Thine enemies. So the Most High God has enemies. And whoever the enemies are to the Most High God, you best believe they my enemies too. Right. Oh, right. Oh, right. King David said, King David said, um, what is it, Psalms 137 or 139? It says, uh, uh, do not I hate thee. Yeah, get that real quick just to back him up because that's one of the, the Christian uh, lies that act like the most high is all love. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the most high don't hate, got enemies and shit. The Lord said he got enemies. Bitch, he got enemies. Yep. Yes, sir. Go ahead, bro. It's uh, Psalms 139 and 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. <laughs> and am not. Oh, well, I, I thought it was wrong to hate. <laughs> I thought it was a sin to hate. Right. What's, what, 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 what law in the Bible says, thou therefore shall never hate to nothing, period. Right. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no law in the Bible like that. And where no law is, there's no transgression. 
You got it. Yep. Matter of fact, let me let me grab something real quick. Uh, this is uh, this is Proverbs eight thirty six. It says, "But he that sinneth against me, wrong, wrongeth his own soul. Yep. All they that hate me love death." Man. You see, and so those that hate the Most High God, they're His enemies. So they're my enemies because they love death. I love life. Yes, <laughs> I love life. So if you love death, then we enemies. If you try to flourish and prosper in this present temporal evil world, well then you're my enemy, all right? Because this present temporal evil world, it's all about death. Wars, rape, rob, murders, kill, energy. Everything contrary to the righteousness of the most high God. And the righteousness of the most high God is life, is immortality. So if you hate that, all right, then you hate immortality, you hate life. And if you hate that, then I, 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 I hate you. Yeah, that's right. I got a fast one, Sirach 17 and 26. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity, for he will lead thee out of darkness into the light of health, and hate thou abomination vehemently. How, how, hate, hate abomination how? Vehemently. All right, you're talking about every ounce of your motherfucking being, man. Fiber, all right? Uh, every <laughs> fiber of yeah, your being. Yeah, it says hate. Abomination, wickedness, vehemently. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. if I need it, got that. <laughs> ah shit. It's cold what you got, brother? And then we gonna go back to what they were talking. Did, did you finish that? Did he didn't finish that. All right, well, hold on. Let him. Okay. It says 139 to 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee, and am not I grieved with those? that rise up against thee, I hate them with perfect hatred, I count them mine enemies. So the Lord enemies is my enemy. That's it. Right? And somebody, it's, and, and I was mentioning that to somebody earlier today. I'm like, look bro, if the brother's with us and he's in order, and he, you know, whatever, no matter what the trials and ups and downs of just man falls seven times, get back up again, it's cool. But let him check out and say he's done and he hang up his bootstraps for the Lord. Then I hate, I hang up my bootstraps, give him the fuck about that motherfucker. That's it. That's because it. it, hey man, it, 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 like all this, uh, you know, these mindsets and ways that's contrary, all right, to the most high God, it ends in death. So basically it's cancerous, man. People in this world, they make t-shirts so saying fuck cancer. Yeah, yeah. When here it is, they cling hold to cancerous mindsets. Right. All right. So I, I, I'm in agreement with fuck cancer. But guess what? Again, all the kernel mindsets of this world is a cancer, is a canker. <laughs> you see? So I hate it. But if you love it and you about this world, all right, then you're an enemy, man. Yeah. You're an enemy of the Most High God. All right? Now, the natural enemy, all right, if number one with the bullet is Esau Edom, all right? The, 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 the self-proclaimed white man, all right? But then all the other uh, uh, nations are our enemies as well. But then, even the majority of our own people that love this place, that love the mindsets of this world, they're now just like heathens. So there are enemies as well. That's right. The scriptures say in the book of Zechariah, the 13th chapter, right? Eight and nine talks about the two thirds. Hey, that ninth verse talks about the one third. And it says that, that they're gonna call uh, upon Yahweh Shimei Al Shai and say, uh, that's you know my power. And the Lord is gonna say, these are my people. Realistically right now, the elect is the Lord's people. The two thirds are actually heathens because as the scriptures say. As the scriptures say, it says uh, basically under the lines of what a man thinketh, that's what he is in Proverbs. All right. So look, our people believe they're black, Puerto Rican, Mexican, American, whatever they're into. All right. That's what they are now. Yep. So and those are heathen nations, basically. That's right. Okay, because they they're they're not a, uh, uh, um, you know, following you know the law, statutes, and commandments. They're not you know returning unto the Lord. Yeah. Hey, all Israel is not Israel, as the scriptures say in Romans. That's it. Matter of fact, in that uh, Colossians, uh, let me grab that real quick. This is talking about our people, man. Um, this is the book of Colossians. 
chapter 1, verse 21. And it says, And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled. All right? So at one point in time, we all, all right, all of the, the Lord's people, all right, were enemies, all right, to the Most High God. Why? Because we forsook him and we weren't about the righteous works that he gave us. We were about wicked works that was contrary, all right, to the righteousness of the Most High God. So we were counted as enemies as well, all right? But those that return, repent first and foremost, all right, forsake this present temporal evil world and the mindsets of this world, all right, and return to the, the, the mindset of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, are unified with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, by having uh, 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 your, your, the will of the Father is now become our will, all right? His plan, I, I'm down with the Most High's plan. <laughs> I'm down with his righteousness, all right? So much so, I try to rehearse it to the best of my ability, all right? Imitate and emulate our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and make my body a living sacrifice. I'm no longer conformed to this world, all right? But I'm trying to be conformed to the image of his dear son, okay? And so that's, hey, becoming now a friend. See, I want to be a friend, all right, of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, not an enemy. So again, it says, and you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind, by wicked works. So when you're about wicked works, when you're about this present temporal evil world, you're alienated from the commonwealth of Israel. All right, from the citizenship, all right, of a of the Israel of God. Hey, we can go another step further. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can be doing this in innocence. As far when I say innocence, I'm saying that loosely. Right. But there's people who just got raised up in captivity that has no idea of Yahweh, no idea of Yahweh Shai, no idea of righteousness. If you choose to reject this and never even been brought this truth, you're going to get destroyed. And if you are not in this truth, no matter what, what's the scripture say in my gospel? Be, Be hid. hid. It is hid, hid to, to them, them that, that are lost. lost. You got some people going to get many stripes. You got some people going to get few stripes. There's a lot of two-thirds that are going to get few stripes. They didn't do some shit on eight levels, uh, uh, some wicked two-third level. Like the, just the, the Lord said there's different levels to this shit. Right. In Revelation, the 22nd chapter, he said, let the holy be holy still. Let the righteous be righteous still. And you got righteous people and the holy are righteous too. But not all the righteous are holy. holy. You know what I'm saying? They're not out here doing the work. You got those that uh, who are, uh, he said, let them be, uh, um, he said, let them be wick, filth, wicked still. And then he said, let them be filthy still. You got motherfuckers who are just filthily wicked, man. And you got niggas who are just this wicked. Yep. You know, so just this different levels of shit. And no matter what, if you don't make that bar, that, that proverbial line in the sand that Moses drawn, the most high set out, you're going to be destroyed. That's it. Go ahead, brother. Hey, hey, and I, just to add on to that, there's going to be a life, a, a, a life, a lot of nice, cool motherfuckers getting destroyed. Yep. There's going to be a lot of fine ass bitches getting destroyed. Yep. There's going to be a lot of comedians who can make you laugh. <laughs> he's like, cool as hell. Yep. And he's going to be dead. Yep. Cool and dead. Yep. Hey, ho. just reward and all rewards ain't good rewards all right so uh you can do this go ahead so yes 
good. This James 4 and 4. Ye adulterous and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of this world, of the world, is an enemy of God. Right, because the Most High God, he has the two. Matter of fact, real quick, uh, uh, Isaiah uh, 65 and 17. Isaiah 65 and 17. It's Isaiah 65. Like yeah, yeah. seven, yeah, yeah. seven yeah, degrees, now. damn near out here. new heavens and a new earth that's the kingdom of heaven the eternal righteous kingdom and that's the ultimate will of the father you see and he said that the former right the one that we're in right now is ultimately going to become the former when our lord and savior comes and judge this place by fire all right and so he said those that's going to be a a, a, a a friend of the one that's ultimately going to become the former all right, of the one where Job 9, 24, he said the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. All right, well, the earth, the, the temporal one is given into the hand of the wicked, okay? And if you're gonna be a friend of that one, then you are an enemy of the Most High God. You have enmity. You have deep-seated hatred, all right, for the Most High God, man. Because you love the one that he's ultimately gonna come and, and, and put a, a, a end to. He said, he that is not with me is against, against me. So either you with the Lord, you um you following his laws, you following the statutes, you following his commandments, you walking. He said, Well, we can't two walk together lest they be agreed. If we're not agreement, then we are disagreement. That's it. Simple. And, and now here it is, part of the consequences of us, the special chosen children, all right, forsaking the most high God and forsaking the way he uh, that he gave us, all right, the ways of righteousness. Well, part of the consequences was us being plucked off our land, scattered amongst all these heathen nations, man. And what did these heathen nations do? Let's go ahead back to that Psalms 83, brother. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 83. And um, well, we're starting at like verse. Speak loud, brother. You, you blow his hand. Uh, so, like it. Psalms 83, and um, Verse, I'm gonna start at two. No, start at one. Okay, all right. Um, Psalms 83 and one, a song, a, a song or a song of Asaph. Keep not thou silence, O power. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. You see, because here it is. Somebody grip me of uh, Psalms 50 and uh, 21. It says, "Keep not thy silence, O God." Right? Uh, Hold not thy peace. This is what the righteous are screaming. This is what the hopeful elect is screaming all right because the rest of our people they want him to hold his peace they want him to do yeah. yeah. right right they want to just continue in this world all right just give me smoothie right prophesy lies yeah prophesy deceit so they can just you know do all the things to soothe their flesh you see but it says to be carnally minded is death, man. Where, 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 where within the Lord has loved us? Right. That, that's J Spirit. Yep. So who got that? Go ahead, brother. It's Psalms 50 and 21. Psalms 50 and 21. These things hast thou done, and I kept silent. So the Most High said, you know, he's talking to the wicked right here and saying, hey, all this wickedness have you done. All right? The wicked. But while he the wicked was doing all this wickedness, what the Most High do? These things has thou done and I kept silent. And he kept silent, all right? He allowed these things to happen. It was all a part of his will, all right? For his purpose, and his purpose is perfect. 
perfect. Okay? But the point is, is that he kept silent and allowed all the things that's being done in this world to be done. All right? Until wickedness reaches its height, the bounds that it cannot pass. You see, the Most High has given wickedness just a time. All right? Yeah, very small period of time. Very minuscule. Yep. But it was for use. All right? A purpose. Okay? So, uh, go ahead. Thou thoughtest that I was called together such as one as thyself. The wicked thought that the Most High was, was such a one as himself because he kept silent. He, he wasn't punishing them for all their wickedness. You see, he was punishing us, the special chosen children. All right? That's why it says in that Amos 3 and 1, it says, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Talking about us, the Israelites. All right, he said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you. Because he's morally improving us. Because we're the ones that slated to rule in the eternal righteous kingdom to come. All right, just like we went into that Isaiah uh, 65 and 17, I create a new heaven and a new earth. That's the eternal one that he's given to us, his special chosen children. So we had to be made worthy of that. We had to be made profitable. All right, we had to be purified and perfected for the job, okay, of being the rulers of the eternal righteous kingdom to come, okay? And so we had to go through all these things in this present temporal evil world, all these atrocities that has befell us, okay? All these different captivities that we've been in and out of or transferred to, all right? We've just been transferred from one nation to another nation, whoever was the superpower at that particular time, according to the will of the Father. Right? So go ahead and finish that off, and we're going to go back to that Psalm 83. It says, These things as thou done, and I kept silence, and thou thought as I was all against, such as one as thyself, but I will prove thee. He said, But I will reprove thee, you wicked. All right? Once you reach the height that you, uh, uh, you can't pass. Go ahead. And set them in order before thine eyes. And set them in order before thine eyes. See, and that's what's the whole purpose, you know, all right, or part of the purpose of this present temporal evil world is that we, the Israelites, the special chosen royal people, we're being set in order, all right? And it took all the things that happened lifetime after lifetime after lifetime after lifetime in this present temporal evil world to, you know, get us in order. Okay, but the point was, is that, hey, the Most High, he said, all these things hast thou done, all right, to the wicked, and he kept silent. He allowed all this that's going on in the world today. Some people will get disenchanted and, and don't even believe in God no more. Look, man, why he allow the babies to get killed? Why, why, if there was a God, why, you know, this and why that? And you know what pisses me off about that? Every single person who act like that, I'll wait till this man just passed by. Hey, you ain't gonna hear none of this in the kingdom of heaven, man. In our kingdom, man, you oh, ain't gonna hear this, man. Oh, hell no. All this badness. When you hear this, that means some bad shit going on. That's some right. damn well. That's right. Now, <laughs> now, one of the things I hate about some what death. you were saying I'm beforehand, sorry. that's okay, is uh, every person who's like, why well, God do this? If God was so good, why he let Pookie die? Red. Pookie was three years old. Yeah. You know the scripture says, whoever perished be Being innocent. innocent, right. But I guarantee everybody who asked that and questioned the Lord, let me see your sins. Let me see your holiness. Right. Every single one of them got dirt. Every one of them wicked. Yep. Everyone got a, the, the scripture says, all has fallen short of the glory of God. That's right? it. So you... So, uh, matter of fact, how I went so far to say, hey, he does without sin, cast, cast the, the first stone. stone. You can't, rep who are you, who are thou, old man, to reply Wait. against the heavenly father, That's right? That's it. You have to tell about what the father doing. Your thoughts ain't the most high's thoughts. Was, Your ways ain't the most high's ways. I was just about to quote that. Yep. You don't know what the Lord is, right? That's it. You will listen to the Lord's show. That's it. Right? Yeah. 
if you had the mind of your how about show me how a shot, right. you would understand yeah. how to yeah. And Google is a Google of time, a Google is a, a, a thousand, I mean, a hundred zeros faster than one. And then you'll have the mindset of, hey, well, the Lord exacted to us less than yeah. our iniquities deserve. Because you're talking about a Google of time, a Google of time, a Google of billions and trillions of the Google of billions of years. Then each Esau's time, you know how you like to say, you know, uh, uh, Esau, wickedness got its time. Time, and, like and, and, righteousness, and has gets its eternity. eternity. Yeah. Well, this is the time. I don't know if you can see the space between. Can you see it? No, I can't just, see that. It's just a little bit of space. Oh, you know what I do. It's just a little space, <laughs> just a small. Now, think about the furthest core, corner of the universe to the other four to the corner of the universe and the other one up north, south, down, east, and west. And this is how much time Esau and wickedness well, had. And Job, it says the, the, the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Is but for a moment. Hey, hey blink. Now some more. Damn. So it, it compared to eternity, a, a, a little blink, all right, is what, you know, Esau, Esau get, the wicked, the wicked get. Gets, yeah. This present temporal evil world, mm -hmm. it get a blink, a moment of time, all right, compared to eternity, that's what righteousness get. That's right. what the kingdom of heaven get. Forever. Forever, man, and ever. And that's why, right. man, man, in that uh, 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 revelation, it says, no more death, no more pain, no more sorrow. All right, when we get to the kingdom of heaven, for us, the Israelites, man, the special chosen royal people of the Most High God, man. All right, so accept the, 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 the plan of the Most High God and that this present temporal evil world is just that, temporal and evil, and I don't want no, you know, uh, 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 portion with it. That's right, you know? don't smoke with that. I don't want it, you know? You want some of this I, I, old man? No. no. So I go through the spiritual fire right now. I go through whatever it is that the Lord say, hey, do this, do that, go through this, go through that, whatever. All right? Because I know that at the end of it all, all right, it's going to be turned to our joy. See? Eternal joy. Fire. All right? Where we at? Let's go back to that Psalms then. That's a, uh, I got that Psalm 83. Now we just read, all right, in, in, in that, uh, in that uh, Psalms 50 and 21, how the Most High, he said he kept silent and he allowed the wicked its time, all right? But here it is, the righteous during the wicked's time are going to be sighing and crying. And, and, and another caveat why the Lord is allowing, you know, what he's allowing is actually teaching his son. That's it. All right? How to live, move, and how to judge and be God. That's it. And he's teaching us humanity. He's teaching us the reasonings of men. Right. He's teaching me, uh, us the diversity of roots and the diversity. The Lord is, we're in God school. That's it. So he's taking this time to do multiple. See, when the exactly. Mosai does something, right. he's knocking out 144,000 <laughs> stones right. with, uh, 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 with uh, birds uh, with one stone. That's it. All right, so he knows what he's doing. Exactly. You can't say shit on what the Lord is doing. Not ten. All you can do is ask the Most High That's what it. he's doing. That's it. Because we don't get it all. How many times have you asked the Lord? Right. Uh, uh, if, if, if this group is, Israel by itself, by name alone, is better than that. Then Lord, why you do walk the mountain? Right. Lord, why you do done done this? Right. And, then, and he kept cussing out Ezra, saying, "Can you can you love these exactly. people more than me? Exactly. Can you know? Can you hate them? How many graves? How many how many babies can be in the womb or in the earth? And he starts checking him to the point like you don't know what you ask. Exactly. All right. And so Esau, Edom, the wicked, and the two Tertians. They don't know what they're saying. They don't know if they're asking because they're thinking from a created standpoint versus a creator standpoint. Exactly. <laughs> a carnal standpoint instead of a spiritual standpoint. You see, this is what's going on. You got something real yes, quick? Sir. Go ahead, brother. This is Isaiah 40 and 13. Who have directed the spirit of the Lord <laughs> are being his counselor no and have told him, hey, uh, um, Yahweh, uh, won't you go over here and build this over there? Right. Lord, you know what? Let me tell you, this is what you really need. Right. Uh, you can't get the most high no damn counsel. Just yeah. like Yahweh Shai said, he came not to be ministered. You can't go ahead and say, Yahweh Shai, it's really actually your best interest. You, watch, watch. You, you can't. He the boss. That's it. Or, can't or, tell the boss what the fuck to do. Exactly. Can't so, tell the goddamn owner of the goddamn team what to do. Right. You can put a suggestion. You can act, make a request. Right. But you can't You can't run shit. Exactly. And, and, and when you know, it ain't no question as in, oh, 
I'm questioning you that if you give me the wrong answer, you in trouble. Right. No, 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 no. No, it's questions to say, hey, how do I get in line? That's right. How do I align with your will and your righteousness? You know, I'm asking you questions so I can get right. That's right. I can adjust to you. That's right. Not you adjusting to me. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So go ahead. Yes, sir. Isaiah 40 and 13, who have directed the spirit of the Lord. I mean, his counselor have taught him <laughs> with whom took he counsel <laughs> and who instructed him. Right, who the most high, who the most high went to that he created to say, hey, um, I was wondering, should I, uh, I, I, for the record, I gave you this understanding. Right. But I forgot. <laughs> so, uh, what should I do again? Right. Look at that. Right. Yeah, he, yeah, he, 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 You're right. Come on, man. Hey, you like, right. He fighting against him. Like, come on, man. That made no sense. All that falling angel bullshit. Yeah, that's funny that. you say that because I just yesterday did a lesson on that. Uh, and uh, it was uh, entitled something along the lines, Satan is completely controlled that's right. by the Most High God that's right. as in all his creation. That's right. And, and, and that's one of the first things I love to tell them Christians. Uh, yes, hey, sir. Call, I call that's, 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 hey, that's what I love to tell these Christians. I, I, like, I like to say, you know, Satan is a righteous angel. When you tell, tell you want to really put right. the Christian head up, yeah. tell him he's a righteous angel. Exactly. Because they're gonna be like, oh, right. But no, Satan's wicked. Satan's right. Bad. Right. And then I gotta show, show me the one scripture that says Satan is bad. Right. Show me one thing that Satan is about to go to so-called hell. Yeah. See, it's Satan. Not. Yeah, Satan ain't Stupid. in the flesh. <laughs> yeah. You know. So right. he 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 does direct orders. I went into that Job and how the Most High gave him. He said, "Hey, all right, you can go do this to Job, but don't do that." Exactly. All right. Then the second chapter, he said, "Oh, it's okay, yeah. it's okay. touch him, but don't touch him, him, but don't." Care. He still gave him orders and parameters, Rest right. restrictions. Mm -hmm. You see, and okay. guess what? Okay. Satan obeyed, not pass. And, and, and what did Satan do? Obey whatever it was. Guess right. Immediately. Immediately. But go ahead. The Lord had made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. And see, and that's the, hey, the day of, of evil because ultimately the wicked is going to be destroyed. All right? right? The wicked has to first serve its purpose. Okay? And we have to see. That's again, just like the elder was saying, how that the Most High is doing a, a, you know, a million things in one. Right? And part of the thing is that he's showing us all ways that's contrary to his way. He's allowing it a little bit of time to have a little bit of power, to have a little bit of sway, to have a little bit of influence, to see where it gets you. You see? We have to this present to world, all right? If not been here, then we wouldn't have known all that. And if we didn't know all that, then we couldn't be perfected as the gods that he's making us, man. Seven, eight, nine years old. And I'm dating myself when I say this. And I was playing with the heat. Well, uh, with, with the Castle Grace Gold. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, you know, and when you had, uh, had the Castle Grace Gold, I had the He Man and I had the Skeletor. You had the good guys, you had the bad guys. I don't care what scenario, what day I was put. I always set up the king, and then I always set up the Skeletor 
and his minions. Sometimes when I ran out of toys or some got lost and broken, I had to use the G.I. Joe's or you had to use the, the Green Army Men as you know it. Yeah, Cowboys and Indians sometimes <laughs> need that one. Right. <laughs> but they will come and vex he man and they'll vex, you know, um uh, uh, the men at men at arms, uh, um, and all the characters back in that day. To even to the point sometimes I even had he man hemmed up in the goddamn prison in Castle Greystone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, but for yeah. somehow and some in them numbers some way. He man always came out That's it. and took them all down. That's it. See, when the Lord set this up, he set it up on how the fuck he wanted to set it up. Yep. According yep. to his will. Yep. All right? And according to his mind. And you cannot go outside of the will of the Lord. He said, Who has resisted his, his will? will? You can't. Can't. All right? The Lord, now, so now that's why this is one of my favorite scriptures. It's so simple. But he that now will let us, will let somebody get that real quick. They're Romans, man. Now he that now let it, but like I'm thinking about, that, I think the one in uh, Thessalonians. Thessalonians. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Thessalonians. Thessalonians. Okay. If that is Thessalonians. Because if you understand that Second everything the Lord is letting go down, He's letting it go. That's like when you, because you said something earlier, maybe you didn't know, but at, at, at the moment, the time the Most High winked at. Right. All right. And he ain't winking. Right. And that wink right now is that wink, right? The wink is a wink, right? But guess what? That, that moment of momentary blink, you, he can't, you can't see some. Lord said, go get that shit out the system now because I'm as soon as I open my eyes, I'm killing everybody who ain't right. Right. All right? That's that grace period, man. You don't understand the balance of the Lord. Go ahead, bro. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 7, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. See, Lord said, it's a mystery. Yeah. See, do you think the Most High really want iniquity to do any of the shit it's doing now? Right. No. But it has to. Right. Why? Because if we're the righteous God, how are we going to be ruling righteously? Not understanding humanity. Not understanding the frailty. Not understanding the reasons of men. Right. All right? And how that the Most High God, man, he, just like you said, you made, in that kingdom of, you know, Castle, made, yeah, yeah, Castle you made some good guys uh -huh. and you made some bad guys. And I appointed them how I wanted. <laughs> exactly. Even sometimes one guy was actually good, but then I ran out of pieces, he's going to be bad. This That's it. So here it is because that was your stuff. Uh -huh. It was yours. That's right. You know, and so you do what you want with your possession. Mm -hmm. You see? So here it is, the most high God, he do the same thing. Mm -hmm. And it says the mystery of iniquity. See, people didn't know who the bad guys were. That's right. You see, they didn't right. know who who was the nation of people who the Most High God made man. That's cold blooded. To be the wicked, He made them to be the bad. He made them to be the vessels that was fitted for destruction. And He made it so cold. He said, "The devil disguising himself as an angel." Ooh, of light. Yes. So even the bad guy yeah. comes off as. A the good, good guy. guy. And he was given that power to do so. To be that subtle, wow. sly fox. <laughs> that deceiver. Yes. All right? That can, that, yes. <laughs> that can pose, all right, that they're actually the good guys. Mm -hmm. Wear a suit and tie and shave their face and they speak like this and they speak school words. Uh, yeah. Say he turned himself to an angel of light. Yeah, right. they give you a sandwich. Yes. Ham sandwich. I know. <laughs> <laughs> It can't even be turkey ham. Like, like, no, yo, good pork ham. Yeah, you see? So here it is. So let's go back to that, the mystery of iniquity. All right? And they said it's already working. Because the Romans, all right, that was calling themselves Romans, were Edomites. And that's what the Edomites do. They always run from that name. You see? Roman, the, the, the Edomites, they're not going to just bust out and say, hey, yeah. We're the Edomites. See, like us, we're the Israelites. We're letting you know that we're the Israelites. All right? And the Israelites were made to be the righteous fuck nation of people. All right? I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. But go ahead. Uh, uh, right. So the mystery of iniquity don't already work. All right? Go ahead. It's Second Thessalonians 2 and 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let him will let until he be taken out of the way. Until he be taken out of the way. All right. So uh, guess what? The wicked that was given some power, that was given some sway, he's going to be taken out of the way. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. But see, see, see shit like that.
power. That's why we can't get proud in this truth. But then you saw the demon jump off of him. And he and, smiled and, and, a little and, bit. And, and, and one quick split second. Yeah. That's true, pure insanity right there. Yeah. Oh, I'm telling you, man, it's a fearful thing, bro. They so, uh, uh, each other, bitch, he fell in between them. They jumped back. He started turning the flicker. Let's hit that. Because uh, <laughs> now, now somebody's going to know he all pissy and shit on the yeah, bench. Yeah, and then somebody else going to. And now somebody else gonna sit on that bench is gonna be pissy shy shy. But uh, go ahead, let's get that wrong, because you, you wanted to go in there. That's all right, I'm sorry. That was just me. Whoever read it. Y'all dropped it that quick. Yeah, I both was saying it. This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 7. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now let him will let until he be taken out of the way. Now, now when the Lord said that the mystery of iniquity, that means whoever's the, the harbinger of death, so Edom is the mystery to the majority of the world right now. Right. Go ahead. I was going to say, that's why in that Psalms 82, it says that, uh, you know, to, to the men of the Lord, the prophets, the teachers, all right, the true men of the Lord, the true teachers, the true prophets, to tell our people and to rid them from the hand of the wicked. That's right. Because so, he says, but why you say that? They know not. Exactly. Neither do they understand. Exactly. They walk on in dark. That's it. All the foundations of the, uh, 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 of the earth is out of course. Yep. But for him to say, rid our people from the hand of the wicked, that means that our people was in the grasp of the wicked. And whatever the wicked said, our people believed it. That's right. You see? Now, of course, the wicked, they didn't tell you that they were the wicked. Of course not. All right? Again, they pose as an angel of light. All right? They pose as these good people so you can listen to them. Does the agent come up, uh, you know, to the camp head and be like, you know I'm an angel? Right. <laughs> Right, right. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And so here it is. So if we got to rid our people from the hand of the wicked, we must have to tell you that there is a wicked and who the wicked is. And don't listen to them. Don't roll with their portion. You see, don't roll with what they say because they're going to be lying to you. They're going to be deceiving you and cause you to err. So now you're in a bad case with the big guy. You see? Right. Keep going. It's some more in that. Go so ahead, go ahead back in that uh, and, and Thessalonians. That, that 7 and verse 8. Go ahead, bro. Uh, it's uh, verse 8. Oh, God, you finished with 7? Yeah, I hit 7 again. This 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 7. For the, for the I, and I'm sorry. What the wicked is going to do and what they have done, they have even taken our book, the Bible, the Word of God, <laughs> and did whatever they want, misconstrued it, misinterpreted it you know and now today you have the baptist church all right modern day plantation christianity and, and guess what all of those instituted now we've been brought over here in slavery yep all of them, all of them, and no, what, you say, uh, what have you done do to touch my law right you're supposed to touch this law and t do anything because you're going to throw it right behind you exactly so here it is this is what the wicked has done all right, they have taken the word of God and they got many different inter interpretations. All right, they have a smorgasbord of interpretations for you to go ahead and choose one of them. All right, and if you choose one of them, whether it be, you know, the Catholic, whether it be so-called Baptist, Christian, uh, 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 Jehovah's Witness, Seventh-day Adventist, Catholicism, uh, 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 Calvinist, Lutheran, whatever one, all right, you go ahead and do that. Elijah Muhammad. Exactly. They don't do that to um, Joel Fulstein. Right. They don't do that to, to Mr. Swallowed Up himself. Right. TD Fakes. Right. 
No, they allowed all his stuff to just stay up. No problem. Because it's a lie. You right. can still go on there and just go find a son. Nigga, 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 nigga. Y'all still up and got millions of views up, man. That's it. You got you got banned racist cartoon videos you can still watch on YouTube. That's it. But they banned. Yep. <laughs> How they banned, you can still watch. So it's a it's an unpopular job to expose those that's in power right now, which is the wicked. Alright? And all those that has clung to the wicked's ways because they wanted a portion here in this present temple evil world, or you're gonna hate the message too. Alright? But let's go back to that. This second Thessalonians chapter two and verse seven. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And that show you who got the power. Because he's letting this go down That's until it. his understanding and his wisdom and his will is set up. That's it. Go ahead. Verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Woo! Ah! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. So if you understand that, it's going to be a time where the wicked will not be known to a point in time that the wicked will be revealed. Right. Then you got to understand the way and the path of the Lord. That's it. Because the, if the Lord wanted to, he could have revealed the wicked from the beginning. That's it. Which he did tell some to certain son, son, son of his sons, all right? All right, certain his sons knew about Esau Edom. Some, the Lord showed, you go back to the, uh, back, back go to Genesis. Because <laughs> all he's fucking up everybody yeah, else. You, he's giving glimpses here and there, yeah. but he didn't give the fullness of the breakdown or the download into due time. Right. All right, because that's in his power of his control, and the Lord is doing part of his plan. See, some people ask why the Lord didn't go ahead on and give us, you know, um, remembrance in our in our reincarnation. Man, let your ass be able to know where you was and who other people were. You see, walking past a Adam, Day, Edomite, and you say, wait a minute. He did That's this my to old me slave this. master. Yeah. Uh, and you about to go catch, you gonna catch a case right there. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna try to go kill him for, for, for the power in your hand. The Lord said there's no remembrance of former things. Why? Because we're washed in the uh, in regeneration. That's it. And this is a cycle, this is a this is a uh, uh the spiritual sifting the most high has got us to build us up into the men that he wants us to be. Yeah. The most high is doing his perfect work within us. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, and, and uh, you know, uh uh I, I equate it like um like in, in school, you go to kindergarten, you go to first grade, second grade, third grade, those are the different lifetimes. Right? You have your first lifetime, your second lifetime, your third lifetime, your fourth. And however many lifetimes there are in books, all right, we don't know. All right, we'll find out. But it was all for our learning. It was all for us to go through all manner of experiences. You see, to experience everything that a human on the earth can experience. You see? All right, in the eternal righteous kingdom, judge, all right? And to be the perfect judge is what we had to go through everything and, and, and all the matters that we're ultimately gonna judge. Kind of what they call it on the Lion King, the circle of life. So basically, yeah, this is the circle of life. You gotta go through your different lives, like he's saying. It, it's just a part of it, man. Like it says in Ecclesiastes 3 and 15, the Lord required that which is past. So you got, matter of fact, I'm gonna grab it real quick. This is Ecclesiastes. Um, 3 and 15 it says that which have been is now and that which is to be have already been and the most high power of God required that which is past so he required that which is past and hey, we all been here before so we gotta pay, pay for our past life and our present life happens you know this is so, 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 so you have to pay for your sins no matter what now whether you pay for your sins by going and through it through the spiritual fire or you gonna go through it through the physical fire which is gonna be coming and the physical fire ain't just the icbl nuclear missile fire it's jacob's trouble as well so a lot of people are going to go through jacob's trouble they're going to get put to death there's going to be a lot of things going And then on top of that, if you pay attention, look at the movies that's coming out. They got a movie called Civil War coming out. And they got another movie with uh, Godzilla and King Takan teaming up. And, and then they just had a video of them seeing uh, uh, 
a, go, a Godzilla, what they would say, which is Leviathan, in the water. And, and yeah. the new planet of the apes coming out? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so, so, right, right. Right. Yeah. so all these things are coming. So you know Esau know what's about to roll around, man. Yep. You know? Yep, and of course, they vying to keep their power. All right, they're vying to ultimately get to their ultimate agenda of a new world order, a one world government where everyone is is chipped with that understand me. That's all right, right. and that understand me is the MOTB, the mark yeah. of the beast, man. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's that Revelation 12 and 12 coming into effect. Surely, uh, you know, Satan's come down, talking about Esau, Edom with great wrath. Yeah, that he has to put a short time. And he know because of that Revelation 11 and 11. All right, where it says after three days and a half, all right, he put the spirit, in his he, he, he put the spirit upon his true men. Uh, teach this word, man. And, right. and again, the spirit, the Holy Spirit, it says, like we read in that St. John chapter 14, verse 26, the Holy Spirit, which is the comforter, it will uh, teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. All right, all the lies that we've been told and now we forgot who we were and our people are cool. What's up, brother? Our people are cool with being what they call us, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, whatever byword that they call us. All right, our people just roll with it. All right, not only roll with it, they say I'm black and I'm proud. You see what I'm saying? Mexican. The whole car draped in that flag. Yeah, the whole car. Yeah. The whole car. Yeah. Exactly. They about to go get your ass. Yep. See, and so all the lies, all the deceit, all right, that was propagated by the wicked, all right, it worked. It worked. But guess what else is going to work? All right, the Lord, all right, and him uh, 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 resting the Holy Spirit upon his men, all right, and then upon the men, women, and children, all right, that's the body of believers, man. That's going to change their mind. Okay, from being conformed to this world, all right, to now being about the word and will of the Father, which ultimately leads to the eternal righteous kingdom. So that's what we're about. And, 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 and since we're about that righteous kingdom and exposing Esau, Edom, now that's another reason why he know he got a short time because now the wool, that veil, like the scripture says, that there's a veil, uh, uh, a covering cast over all the people right well now little by little and day by day that veil is coming down that's what he now said you got esau edom uh being exposed by esau edom yes you got you got esau edom who actually believe in that de democratic uh lies right esau say exactly. that we all win exactly he said well you're sad they're supposed to be this way and it's not what you're doing to them is wrong right you know what i'm saying right now you got esau cussing out esau that's it all right nation divided against itself will not stand yeah. and esau's yeah. going down yep and the brother brought that out uh, in that psalms uh, uh how that their own tongue shall fall upon that's them. it that's it see so were you finishing that uh, testimony? See, and another reason why, and, uh, and, uh, another reason why their tongue is falling against themselves is because Esau got favoritism amongst Esau. So if you Amalek and you, or you, uh, the other tribes of Esau, and you high up, then you cool, you get a pass. Right. But you want these low, low ass motherfuckers who grunt you to my Right. Who now they've been grinding. Right. To get the same thing you promised everybody. Right. And now that's just slipping from their hands. Exactly. They're like, well, goddammit, I'm working 40 hours a week. Right. I got the job. I'm actually making $75,000 a year. Right. But I can't, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. Right. I I, I got my kids. I, I can't get them to school. I, I can't do that. My other kids have to move back home. Right. And so all the shit that you done sold them and they bought in, now they like, wait a minute. Yep. I can't even, I can't get my American dream that you promised me, and I'm white. Yep. So, so they tell it. Now that they tell it. Yeah, exactly. Because that's Esau's spirit, because that's part of Esau's nature. Uh, um, the, the, uh, yeah, I think it was called the Samuel, the Solomon thing. Think, I forgot the name, the, the 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 name of it, but basically the Samson option or something. If I if I'm going, if it's imminent that I'm going to lose, we blowing everything. Up. Exactly, man. <laughs> that's his philosophy. Yeah. If I'm not, if I can't take part. No one can take part. You know what I'm saying? So now Esau Edom is, is flipping the script on Esau Edom. And it's beautiful, man. Beautiful. Esau live above his means. That's why he's perishing like that. And then if he steals some Edom like that, he'll have good bread and jump off a building. Yeah. Like, you still got more money than me. You making 100000 still. You yeah. just mad because you lost about a good 300000 Because now he can't. Because that's the penthouse. That was the check. And now, and now he's a regular-ass nigga. 
He just don't, he just don't want to be at the top. That shit crazy, man. You ready to kill yourself? You still got a, a hundred, couple hundred thousand. Like, come on, man. We ain't got shit. Hey. We broke. Yep. The stock market. Fuck out of here, me. man. Yep. Cry but, baby ass. But those are, 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 are another part of the signs of the times, man. To show you that, hey, yo, we are just literally seconds away, man. All right, from the return of our Lord and Savior, man. Okay. But of course, you know the rest of these little prophecies got to come to pass, man. And they are. They are all the all the prophecies are there on the line right now. They're in the, the proverbial, you know, snowball is rolling down that hill, man. And, and, and you know about and a bigger, snowball. And yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, you, and you bigger, said it. And and bigger, Once that snow starts rolling, God, it starts adding more right snow to it. Yep. And instead of gradually, it's fast. Yes. And yeah. by the time that little snowball gets to the bottom, it's a goddamn boulder ball. That's it. So go ahead, okay. brother. Go ahead. All right. This yeah, is uh, Proverbs 24 and 14 that it reads. So shall be the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. When thou hast found it, then there shall be a reward. And thy expectation shall not be cut off. You see? So if your expectation is the will of the Father, his wisdom, his plan, his righteousness, all right, then you good, all right? But for the rest of the people that's about this present temporal evil world, man, you bad. Yep. Hey, did, did you want to make a point on that? Oh, which part? I'm sorry. Verse 8. The second Thessalonians 2 and 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Hey, that's the men of the Lord. Right. Matter of fact, that goes to that, uh, what we've been talking about, Alpha Dorn Priesthood. Uh, uh, just like Jeremy. Right? They, they went up there, walked, marched in silence around Jericho. And then when he said, lift up that voice and shout, and don't lift up that the walls. Cry aloud, right. spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right. And show my uh, people their transgressions and their sins and so forth. Right. All right. So it's the voice of the Lord, the word of God, is what's tearing down Esau Edom. It's actually breaking down the heaven. It's all set up, the so-called white man is set up through the word of God. We ain't going down to City Hall. We ain't come marching on the Capitol. We you know what we're doing? Reading these scriptures. That's it. I got right. one for you too, by the way. Revelation chapter 11 and 11. And after three days and a half, the Perfect. spirit of life from God entered into them Woo. and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them, all right? And so here it is, the men of the Lord, all right? It says after three days and a half, because there was a period of time where we all were lied to and believed a lot, all right? right? Just like it talks about in that second entrance, six and 28, all right? It says, as for faith, it shall flourish Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. That's right. You see? And it was without fruit because Esau Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, had been lying to us That's the right. whole time. That's telling right. us we just niggas, uh -huh. Negroes, black, Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, all right? All the bywords that they call us, but they wasn't telling us who we truly are. The true chosen people of the Most High God. All right, call Halal, you and, and the scripture said the truth shall set you free. That's it. So we speak the truth, just like the other people say. When the, when the righteous teacheth the son, it grieveth the enemy. So this truth, this word of God, is actually breaking down every stronghold of Esau's queendom. That's it. So again, it says, after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High God entered into them, all right? And can no defile thing. All right, into, into the spirit, man, the Holy Spirit, man. All right, it says, and they, all right, starting off with the 144, all right, the, 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 the prophets, the true men of the Lord, the true teachers of the Bible, not these jack lane preachers in these churches that have taken the interpretation from their enemies, all right, the so-called white man. And they know better because they willingly took that bag. They didn't get bamboozled by Esau. They know what they do. Fucking liars. 
Yep, yeah, I would say so. most of them. Five hundred one C yep. three charters. That's it. And so they sold. Right. So and guess what? The spirit of life from the Most High God is not in them. All right. They're in the true men of the Lord. That's on the highways and byways and speaking thus said the Lord directly and correctly. All right. And right. so it says, and great fear <laughs> fell upon them. You see, well, who was fearing? Starting off with the elites. All right. That's ruling right now, man. All right. They see us exposing them, exposing who they are, exposing their agenda, okay? And ridding our people from their grasp, all right? But the only ones that's gonna get rid from their grasp is the elect of the nation of Israel that give heed to this word and have faith and show their faith by the way they think, by the way they live, rehearsing the righteous acts, striving lawfully, man. You see? So you got something, brother? I was just holding this for your diet. All right, go ahead. Uh, this is second. Uh, chapter 2, verse 8. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So Yahweh Bahashav, Yahweh Shah is about to destroy these people, okay? You see what I'm saying? Uh, he's sending the son because the father, he too pure to come down here. You see what I'm saying? That's why he's sending his son. But that's that brightness, you know? Says eyes are a thousand times brighter than the sun, okay? So he's coming back to destroy this place. He's coming to redeem his, his elect, and, and that's what it is. That's and ain't shit y'all can do about it, not okay? Not ten, not ten. Hey, let's go back to that, uh, hey, uh, you're done. Let's go back to that, uh, 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 uh what, 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 what is that? That's all Yes, sir. I was going to go to Yes, sir. Uh, it's the book of Psalms. Verse 1 again. Uh, Psalm 83 uh, one. A song, let's say, let's say, a song of a song or a song of ASAP. Keep not thou silence, O God. Call not thy peace and be not still, O God. Alright, and we read that Psalms 50 and 21, and hey, that the most high he kept silent, allowing all these things to come to pass because this are this is the will of the Father. Alright, and it's all for our learning. All right, for us, the special chosen children, to be purified and perfected. Go ahead. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. Remember, thine enemies, all right, first and foremost, talking about Esau, Edom, Edom. Esau, Edom, all right, all right, along with these heathen nations, man. Go ahead. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They that hate thee have lifted up their head. So they're conspiring. They're making, they have a, a plan, a plot against the Most High and against his special chosen children. Go ahead. And say, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They, they have consulted, said, they have consulted against thy people. All right, who are the people of the Most High God? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Go ahead. They say they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation what? that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. You see the plan of these heathen nations? They said, hey, let us cut the special chosen children off from being a nation. All right, let us cut them off from the remembrance that they're the special chosen royal people, the Israelites. So how did they do that? All right, for one, of course, they were in, in power, all right? We were subjects to them. And so whatever it is that they told us, we was like, oh, okay. And, and they beat out of us, all right? The remembrance of us being Israelites, man. You see, and anybody that wanted to, you know, claim Israel, hey, you can get beat or ultimately even killed. All right, go ahead. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom. So then it goes to name a few of these nations, which number one with a bullet is Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white man. And the heads of them are the J-O-O-S's. They call themselves, all right, J-O-O-S's, okay? When they're not the true ones at all, we are. And, and, okay. and that's why they're going to have that word, you. They have it. Right. We're Yahawadah. Yahawadah. All right. And we're Yahawadah. 
That's it. All right? And we're Yasharala. That's it. All right? That's the true name of Israel is Yasharala. That's it. All right? I hate I hate saying I'm I'm, I'm, I'm from Israel. No, I'm from Yasharala, man. Israel. Yes, right. I hate that Yisrael shit, man. Right. I hate that Ben, that Ben, Ben Yahweh, Ben this, and Ben that. How, how you gonna be Ben? Ben. There's no E's in Hebrew. Right. How the fuck are you Ben? Right. You know what I'm saying? That, that show you that fucking level. And I understand, because, you know, be honest with you, Yak, you know, when we first came in, we was we was doing some of that years relationship. We was ZT. When we first got our ZT, we was like, right. ZT. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah. It, 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 there is a growth curve, you know, a learning curve, you know what I'm saying, when you come into the truth. All right? But that you, you, you want, they that are in the truth, they want the truth. That's the it. Lord said, uh, uh, the, uh, what's that, John 8, they that work for me must work for me in spirit and in, in truth. truth. All right? Not some truth, not most of the truth, but 100% truth. That's it. Uh, so, uh, we, we just read that Psalms 83 where it says that, hey, they're going to take the remembrance of us, all right, being the Israelites, the special chosen children, out of our mind. All right? That's right. But guess what? Let's get that uh, St. John again. And say, hey, uh, somebody grab uh, Baruch chapter, um, yeah, whoever, Baruch chapter um, 2, and you can start at verse uh, 29. Go ahead, brother. This St. John 14 and 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, shall bring all things to your remembrance. You see, bring all things to your remembrance. Why do something need to be brought to your remembrance? Because you forgot. How did you forget? Because you were lying. To you, right? whatever they were taught and Israel Yashallah being an Israelite wasn't in it and so yeah you just whatever they told you as well that's who you were right yeah. what we speak today English you're right in subjection to them and then they can just tell us what they want lie to us fabricate this that whatever right go ahead this is Baruch 2 and 30 for I knew that I knew that they were I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff necked people he said hold on he said he knew the most high knew that what he said for I knew that they would not hear me he said that, that just so like I just got I got just triggered a thought for me going over a little while ago. See, the most I know who gonna listen, right. he know who ain't gonna listen. Yep. He know that he know exactly all his creation. He set the deck. So he you already knew what I was about to say. <laughs> he said a lot. Yeah. He set the deck. If you don't know what that means, go look it up. Alright. But he made sure all the cards will fall in the right line. Yep. That everything his will yep. will be done. Yep. Go ahead, bro. Baruch 2 and 30, for I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people. Uh -huh. But in the land of their captivities. But in the land of their captivities where their captors have lied to them right. and told them all manner of whatever and even took the remembrance of, uh, uh, of us being the special chosen royal people, the Israelites, all right, they took it out of our memory. But what does the scripture say? But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Ooh. Uh -oh. They shall remember themselves. And if you go back into the apostles' videos, going back some shit, this is actually about a decade or so ago, two couple, of, actually, damn near over uh, 15 or something. Years ago, they were out there in New York, and a limousine pulled up to the apostles, and a cracker jumped out at us like, where did, right. where did y'all get this? Yeah. Where did y'all get this? Exactly. We, it was the Holy Spirit, sir. It was the Holy Spirit. Cold. Something that you can't corrupt. Right. Something that you can't corrupt. Right. Something that you 
can't get your hands on. That's right! Nah, nanny, boo boo. That's what that nigga Charleston White say. Nah, nanny, boo boo. That's right. That's right. Nah, nah. We got the truth back. All praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakakodash, man. So read that part again, brother. It says, For I knew that they were. I, for I knew that they would not hear me uh -huh. because it is a stiff necked people. Yep. But in the land of their captivity, yeah. they shall remember themselves. They shall remember themselves. Why? And shall know that I am the Lord, their God. Uh huh. For I will give them an heart and ears to hear. See, via the Holy Spirit, which will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, and you, man. Got, and you got to remember how he just said that. I'll, I will give you a heart and ears to hear. If the Lord don't give you a heart and ears to hear, you're going to hear nothing. Yep, you're just going to be blind, man. You're going to be one of the blind. Okay, that and then what I want to grow fast with the gospel That's it. Blind. See? To be stood for blind. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 You see? And, and, and be most blind. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you see, this is what happens, man. And then even just like the, in that Peter, he said, man, I stir up your, your pure, pure minds mind by mind way of remembrance, man. All right. And all we have to do is just teach this truth directly and correctly. It don't need no gimmicks. All right. Don't need no extra thrills or thrills. Right. All right. Don't need no. Uh, uh, don't need no help. None. You know what I'm saying? You just go out and say, thus saith the Lord, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line can, upon line, can I here a little up? and there a little. Why, do, why would the Lord tell the apostles, the preachers, the, 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 uh, the prophets to go prophesy to the wind? Exactly. Hey, you go outside, ain't nobody around. Right. Go, well, that's it. Name me all about Shem That's it. You said prophesy to the wind. Yep. Hey, and he said that his word don't go out void. It, 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 it will accomplish where until he sent it. And we trust in you, how about Shimmy Awashai, that that's the case. We don't need to debate you. We don't need to, you know, uh, uh, add this, add that. We don't need to put on no hats. But we don't need to uh, be having matching garments and, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 you know, any of that, man. We just come out here. We don't need to speak like, uh, uh, what do you do? Uh, the Apostle of Gabar always talk about the uh, Corsese dude or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> In the beginning, as we sit this time, and that saith the Lord. No, we come out and we speak, thus saith the Lord. Rightly divide the word in truth, man. All through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You see? We don't need no extra friends. That's it. We just go do what thus says the Lord. Do what He said to give Him all praises, honor, and glory, and to edify the elect of Yahweh. Ain't no pop locking Jesus Christ. And, and, and He said that hey, we are laborers. The Apostle Paul said we are laborers together with God, man. All right. So hey, we do our job, and the Most High gonna do His. All right. We go plant and, 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 and water, and the Most High gonna get an increase. Now, why you gonna use one of my analogies? I'm a gardener. I'm a, yeah. I'm a husband. Yeah. But I promise you, when we plant that seed and we water that seed, like he said, Paul planted, Apollos watered, but the most high because it increased. That's it. Now, so many brothers have actually came and helped me out in the garden before. And I promise you, in a couple more weeks when this weather breaks, all right, and we go out there and we start planting, I guarantee you what you will not see me doing is every day digging that bitch back up and replanting it. Right. Making sure it's proud. Right, right. I want some plenty of water. It's done. All right. I do, I, I, matter of fact, the only thing I do back is occasionally come back and water it some more. That's it. And then I make sure that nothing can come up to stop it. Like, if I know where I plant it when I plant it. Yeah. If I see a weed that's not normal, has him have got to go. Can I get, can and, I back you up? Oh, right. If I see anything in that plot that was not what was planted, him got to go. But outside of that, I can't make that sunflower grow. Prosper. I can't make it produce. I can't make it go into fruition and come into harvest. I can't do nothing. You, you, because you own, you ain't in control of life. All I did was plant it in the That's water. That's it. Sirach, for Ecclesiastes, chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity. Life uh, and death. Uh -oh. Poverty Whew. and riches. Okay. Come of the Lord. Came from who? 
Both come of the Lord, man. Both sides. Somebody give me Luke 8 and 11. Man, life and death, riches. He said, it ain't, he said it's a light thing to make a poor man rich or to make a rich man poor. This is Luke. It's not chapter 8, verse 11. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. Woo. So all we can do is preach the word, man. In, it'd be instant in season and out of season. That's about it. Hey, hey, let me gra grab this. St. John chapter 6, verse 63. It is the spirit that quickened it. Hey. The flesh profited nothing. Woo. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. That's right. And they are life. That's right. Read that again, brother. This Man. is Luke chapter 8, verse 11. Now, the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. The seed is the word of God. Right here it says that the word is our spirit. They are life. All right? The word of God is life. Man. You see? So it says that. Read that one more again. Luke 8 and 11. Uh-huh. It says, now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. The seed is the word of God, man. So here it is. Like I always have to mention from time to time, all right, in these uh, 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 so-called seminary schools, seminary. All right, which we call, by way of our uh, apostle uh, Tahar, he dubbed it cemetery school, all right, because ultimately they got the word of death, not the word of life, all right, because they hear, they, they'll tell you that, hey, if you come pay us uh, this uh, amount of money and you take these particular classes and courses at the end of it well I'm going to give you a piece of paper right. to tell you that you know the word of life that same said professor will say but we don't have the full understanding exactly. of this exactly. or that exactly. but we think that right. this means this is important right. Right. You, you see and so here it is the word of God that's life we right. don't control life, and we don't control who gets life. That sounds like a lesson. The Word of God is not an educated guess. Right. <laughs> and just like the elder was going into, uh, you know, and going out to, uh, to, to, you know, uh, 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 plant, you know, a garden. Well, all the seed, all right, we just go plant it, all right, and then water it. And then after that, we wait see? to see if the Most High gives that seed light and, and give that seed increase. Now watch this. Let that, that two months go by without something popping up in there. Then I gotta plant me another seed. And I gotta do some more water. Where you going, bro? <laughs> you, can, you can't come over here and join right, camp and right, then right, break right, camp. Right, right. <laughs> That's not just because the sun going <laughs> down a little bit. <laughs> uh, pop, pop them off. <laughs> hey, he already camped early or so. It's all good. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, matter of fact, tell the, those bros. You know. I, I was just talking about the two. Todd's hey. leaving. Shit, I'm leaving too. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, hey, I can't wait because right now it's that brick cold came back. That's it, and I, yeah. I, show you, I can show you it, this, uh, that flag right there. You see that flag? You see that wind blowing? Man, that, that it, it, man, that, that shit, that shit coming. Let me say this: a, a steady again, stream. And so he he brought that out in that Luke eight eleven. The seed is the word, right? And we understand that the Show word up. is yeah, life. All right, we don't have no control who gets this. That's why he said, "Hey, go teach them, whether they hear or forbear." We don't have the ability to make one hear or forbear. Because if we have the, the, that ability, well, we have the ability to make that seed grow. Uh, 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 have a child and we go deal with uh, you know this our woman or whatever all right then we can just be like all right go pop it and say all right now uh baby boy come in nine months right. i don't want no girl baby boy you know what i'm saying we don't have no control over that right. all right so we don't have no control over the what's the, the word of god who gets it That's right. because the word of god that is life all right it says that the word of god is the seed, all right, it, 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 it's just the seed until it gets increased from the Most High God. And as we just read that in the rock, all right, how that, hey, life and death, all right, prosperity and adversity, okay, 
riches and, and, and poverty, it, it comes from, uh, it's, that's of the Lord, man. Can I back you yes, up? You, yes, you can. Okay, this is 2 Corinthians 4, and I'm going to start at 6. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Yahweh Shahab Rashiach. But we had this treasure in earthly vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. You see? Because if we could just, hey, say, hey man, you, you come and uh, uh, pay me this money, you know what I'm saying? And, and I teach you the word of God, you know, in truth. Well, then the excellency will be of us. That's right. See, but read it again, it's not of us. Say, but we have this treasure in earth and dust. See, we have this treasure, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Most High gifted us in earth and vessels. And we're just given a, a down payment, a measure. And that's why right now, even the prophets could die like men. And, and in that right. Psalms 82, uh, it says, hey, you are gods, but ye shall die like men. And because fall. we in this earth and vessel. That's right. And fall like one of the princes because right. we're in this uh, uh, earth and vessel. This flesh. This, that's why this we can fall. Flesh. If, we were, if we were to not in our holy flesh and not this human flesh, like the, the princes of this world, we would never fall. Right. We would never fail. Right. All right. We will, we will be perfect in that God and, and that and, and the angelic body. Hey, see, but this is what the Most High is doing. He's doing the work in us. And then ultimately, we're going to get the full download That's and it. not just a down payment. Right, uh, you the know. earnest, the earnest. Right, right. You see, right now we got the earnest of the Spirit, all right? That but when our Lord and Savior comes, He said, I'm going to change you, all right, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye <laughs> from those vile bodies that you're in where you can't exact righteousness perfectly, all right? But then I'm going to give you those glorious body, bodies where these law, statutes, and commandments, all right, the righteousness of the Most High God is going to be written in your minds and your hearts, man, in those new bodies. And that's when we're going to be perfect and never sin again, okay? And we're going to rule right here on the earth in those perfect bodies that's given to us, man. In righteousness. That's it. So go ahead, brother. Uh, this is 2 Corinthians 4 and 7, and it reads, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. You see, that the excellency, all right, may be of the most high God and not of us, man. He controls all things, man. He controls who understands his word, all right? And just a measure, because as the, the, the prophets, all right, we have our particular offices. But as the body all together, we have 100% truth. All right? That's right. And that's what we have here at Great Millstone from the apostles of, of, of Great Millstone on down and those that teach the like doctrine all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You see? It's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You got something, brother? All right, let's get to these last precepts, man. We're going to wrap it up, man. Get up out of here, boy. This wisdom, this wisdom of Solomon 8 and 21. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her. <laughs> Read it again, brother. This wisdom of Solomon 8 and 21. <laughs> Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her. I can't obtain any measure of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding just by reading. What's that to happen? Except God gave her me. Except God, the Most High God gave her me. Or except God give me some increase. You see, then I can read again. I can read the Bible till I'm blue in the face. Come on now. And never understand, man. Hey, hey, you, you're not going to get it by yourself. And that's a, hey, wait, you're hey, not going to get it by osmosis. Hey, hey, check it and read it from the top again. <laughs> this wisdom of Solomon 8 and 21. Nevertheless, when I perceive that I could not otherwise obtain her. See, 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 see but that's, that's humility. That's it. See, because you got right now, you got Victor Bacon and Pastor Porkchop. Yeah. Well, you know, my brother, the Lord was trying to say. Um, right. And, and, and he used to start pulling shit out of his Right. Yeah. Or they'll be honest, like uh, uh, Captain Lee's preacher. Right. And when, when he was like asking and, and putting him in a, in a spiritual back, and he was like, well, brother, I'm going to have to come 
and take a look at that. Yeah, yeah it get back and to I'll you. Yeah, get back to you. Yeah, that. yeah. But you know the, the my old picture. You remember him? Oh my he God. Said, he said, "What's the name of the Lord?" The Lord. Lord. That's, That's what, what it, it says, says in, in my Bible. Bible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then soon as I, I have to go. I go. <laughs> he got out that jail, boy. Got out that jail, boy. That's it, man. Man, oh, man. Uh, hey, but the most I gonna make you pay for all that shit, bro. But read that again, bro. This wisdom of Solomon 8 and 21. Because it's really prideful and, and extremely wicked to take somebody's words yeah. and twist their meaning because there's only one meaning of these scriptures, man. That's it. I am an author. I write poetry. I write songs and shit. Yeah. You can't come to me and tell me what I was writing in my goddamn song. Right. I know what the fuck I was writing. Right. right. And what you meant by, you know, maybe a parable that you right. sung in the right. song. You know right. what I'm saying? What right. you mean by, yo, you, you meant this by this. No, that's and then, not what I meant. You know, yes, you did. That's not what I meant. Yes, you did. I wrote it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you got to cut them because some of them say, well, it made me feel this way. I don't right. care about your fucking feelings, Exactly. Right? And just like the truth, it don't care about your feelings, man. It does not care about feelings, man. Go ahead, brother. This second end, uh, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 21. Nevertheless, when I perceived that I could not otherwise obtain her, except God gave her me, and that was a point of wisdom. That was a point of wisdom. Right, right. Such a, right. See, to know who, could keep going. Also, to know whose gift she was. Woo! I prayed unto the Lord and besought him, and with my whole heart what, I said, with some of your heart, woo. with my whole heart I said, O oh God of my fathers and Lord of mercy, who has made all things with thy word, and ordained men through thy wisdom, Man. that he shall have dominion over the creatures which thou hast made. That was the point. Right, Man, yeah, yeah, see, but the, the point is, it's the Lord that gives you the most high giving you some things, and you cannot get the Lord your own phone. Yeah. Yeah, matter of fact, Going to, uh, was it Ephesians and so forth? He said, no, without the How can they hear without the priest? Right. Romans, right. If, if, if a preacher, the Lord's side don't send up the man of the Lord to go, send it to, first of all, raise him up. Right. Okay? And then go send him forth. Right. And then happen to, to happen to you to come across you. Right. And then you got to hear those words. Right. You got to receive them in your spirit. Yep. You got to believe in it and trust it, yep. and then you got to do it. Apply it. Apply it and learn it and do it. That's it. If, this, if that's the process, as a matter of fact, this is, I just did a lesson. I'm going to, I feel my lesson I'm just doing it the other day. I, um, uh, are you doing the things to, uh, to be saved? I forgot how I wrote it, but I, um, uh, what are you doing to be saved? Or something like that. What are you doing to be saved? Or something, I can't remember technical, but it's something to that uh, degree. What are you doing to be saved? It's a process to be saved. And one of the things I put in there is that if the Lord don't want you to be saved, I don't give a fuck if you want to be saved. You will not be saved. That's it. The Most High God will want to save you to, in order for you to be saved. Well, it's already written who's going to be saved That's and right. who not. For that was, from, that was from before the beginning of time. That's right. All right. It was already a done deal. Now the movie is just being played out. So it don't matter what role you want. Your role was given from before the beginning of time. Before you actually, you know, came about all right your role was already preordained man you see and, 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 and like it just said in that scripture he just brought out how that he has a, a, a over, over the creature over his creation man okay and you have all the examples from the, the, the good to the bad and all in between man you see all right. and, and, and and let us be thankful Okay, that hey, we are part of the special chosen royal people. That's it. And not only part of the special royal people, but we have hope of That's being it. the creme de la creme. But the, the greatest of the special chosen children. For the Lord to give us a knowledge of this truth, to give us a chance in running. Because yes, we gotta we're, understand we're yeah, in a race. We're, just we in have a running. A, we're in a running. Right. He said many are called. Well, few and, are and, chosen. And, and if you really want to understand that balance the, or the, the spiritual ratio. Of that many that are called, let's read Matthew's the 25th chapter. He said there are five, he got ten verses. Five wise and five, five foolish. So it's a fit being in this truth is a 50-50 chance, man. Yeah, yeah. It's you a fifty fifty chance that the most high goes uh, accept us. And just and don't think that well, I made it this long. I've been in for 15, 20, 30 years. Right. Cool shit. <laughs> Judas, Judas, Judas Iscariot, Iscariot yep. was in there all the way up until the, um, the uh, a couple uh, a couple moments before the, the death of Abba Shiat. That's, That's it. it. And then he sold out. That's right? it. Right? Chicken chain. That's it. Yes, yes he, he did. did. Yes, sir. <laughs> and, 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 and we done seen, you know, men that has been in this thing for 15 years yeah, plus. I, I, and then you can't understand, but I understand the Lord. Out, man. You see? 
And then that's why we can never, you know, uh, 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 get prideful, man. That's right. You see? Hey, hey, hey well, you just walking that that thin line, man. It says, serve the Lord with fear and trembling, man. You see? So this is what it's all about, man. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And, 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 and showing and proving your faith, man. Okay? Any uh, last scriptures? All right? Any last, any points? That's it? Hey, well, Lord willing, this was edified. <laughs> and with that, we're going to give all praises, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasha, Yahweh Shai, Bahasha, Rekat Kodash, Shalom, and Kwam Yashallah. And you know what we're about.